Hola mi gente, welcome to Kiss My Crafts. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I don't have my microphone with me, so I'll try to talk as loud as I can so you guys can hear me, especially Kendra. <laughs> hey sis. Anyway, I hope I sound you know, clear and you can hear me. I'll try not to move my head around. I speak with my hands, my head moves all over the place. So I might be talking to you to the right of me, but then looking to the left of me. So I'll try not to do that. Anyway, um, I had some stuff delivered to Jose's house that was going to help me um, entertain myself while I was here because we were not sure if both of us were going to be able to be at the hospital with Mia because of COVID. And sure enough, that's exactly what it was. It was not a question that um, he thought to ask and I told him to find out, but he didn't find out, you know, because why would he, right? That wouldn't help us at all. So yesterday when we went to the hospital, um, at the last second when we were trying to get in, they were like, only one parent. So of course, he's the one that's going to go. So I lingered around the hospital area and it's like a medical district. There's like all these different medical buildings, one's for the heart, one's for um, the eyes, one's for transplant, another for cancer treatment. It's like just this big area with all these medical buildings, very few stores, but plenty of places to sit, beautiful um, plants and palm trees. They had this path called the Briars Path. It's like Briars ice cream. Um, and it's just landscaped really pretty. So there's a lot of shade and it was a beautiful day yesterday, but I was bored. It was almost four and a half hours and there's not much to do or, or anything to buy. Really. They had a few stores. Um, there was a McDonald's that was closed. When I saw McDonald's, I was like, Oh, but then, you know, upon getting closer, it was closed. And then there was a Starbucks, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, and, uh, Aubon Payne but they were very limited in what they offered. So being how my stomach is sensitive, I dared not eat anything because I didn't want to find myself needing a bathroom. It's TMI, I know, but this is part of the story. Um, so I went to Starbucks and got myself one of those refreshers. Oh my God, that's my new favorite thing. I got the mango dragon fruit with a splash of lemonade. Yo, that was delicious. And it had like muddled... Uh, berries at the bottom of it. Oh, it was so good. Anyway, with that being said, I ordered stuff to in in the expectation that I might not be able to go to the hospital and I would have to linger around the hotel by myself. When especially when we thought that she was gonna stay overnight. Thank goodness she doesn't have to stay overnight. It's ambulatory surgery. She she comes home. Well, she comes here today, and then she goes for a follow up tomorrow morning, and then we out. Okay, because where this hotel is, isn't like nowhere. Nothing, nothing around here, and um, the hotel looks like it's new. You know, recently built because everything is like brand new. The room is really nice. Um, it smells good in the hallways, you know. Um, it smells good in the rooms, the sheets, and the uh, everything was fresh and everything looks clean. Um, and everybody's really nice. However, there is nothing around here. Um, to the right of us, there's a a university, but it looks like it's still being built. You know, now they're doing the insides because I don't see any act activity going in and out, but just a lot of nothing, you know, a couple of construction workers. Um, I don't even see that much. But next door, there's a big construction thing going on. So they might be using a bathroom in this building. I don't know. Um, so and then across the street, is not, there's a house. And I thought it was an abandoned house, but no, there's people that live there. And I was like, OK. And then to the left of us is highway and a road. A road that leads to I don't know what, and I'm not Dorothy, so I am not going to follow the, the road. <laughs> I, I don't want to run across the Tin Man, the Lion, and the Scarecrow. Because um, I, I believe this is North Miami. And I, I've been to Miami many, many years ago, but I, 
I was in like the tourist area. So that's what I experienced. So here, there's, I'm not going to venture out because I don't know where I'm going and I don't know what to what I'm going to find. So I'd rather just stay at the hotel. Hotel has a pool, but I'm not in the mood to be in the sun. Um, and there's a nice little courtyard that you can hang out in, but by myself, there's a bar, but by myself, no, I'll stay here. I'll make this video. Um, there's a TV with cable on it. I have stuff that I can entertain myself with. I have my tablet. So I'll just pass the time like that. And right now I'll be hanging out with y'all. Okay. So I ordered some coloring stuff. I also ordered a light pad, which I forgot to bring, like I said, and I ordered a new stiffy <laughs> and I kind of like this stiffy better. Um, it's pretty much the same concept with the clamp at the bottom that you clamp to the table. And then it has um, a, like a clamp to hold the phone. And I put a picture of it right here. And so I decided, I brought this with me, the stiffy with me and a couple of things in anticipation of not being able to go to the hospital. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself and I can make a video for y'all. Anyway, let me show you the first thing I got. Okay. So this is the Sue Color gel pen set and this is all the glitter, glitter, la, 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 la. <laughs> glitter gel pens okay and i love it this is a really nice set for what i paid i think when i ordered this they were 18.99 um mia likes them so much that i'm just gonna leave this set for her and order myself another one but when i went to look it went up 21.99 then i was like nah i'll wait till they go down i'm not in no rush and now right now last i looked the 19.99 with two dollars off so it's the time to buy it because um, it's even cheaper than what I originally paid. So this is 60 pens and they come with 60 refills. And it also has a coloring book, okay? These are really, really nice. Um, let me get them in. Very, very nice pens. Um, they, do, they originally came in rainbow order, <laughs> but Mia has gotten to them. Um, so they are no longer in the rainbow order. But they're really beautiful. And I read some of the reviews saying that the pens aren't full. Gel pens are never full to the end. Okay, they're not ballpoint pens. They're gel pens. It's, I've never ever seen a set that the, the ink comes all the way to almost near the end of the tube. No. These all came evenly inked. Okay. And um, it came with this coloring book as well which I gave to Mia and she already she's working on one piece and she's really taking her time with it she's she's improved so much because she used to scribble and then scribbling she, scribbling turned into trying to get into the sections and now she's getting way better and I'm loving it and these gel pens let me see if the glitter comes through they are very glittery you see that look how pretty that is really really glittery and they're very juicy and when i say juicy i mean the ink flows it does not skip with gel pens you can find some of the cheaper sets skip and it's annoying but these have not haven't skipped yet um because i did try them but you see how pretty that that glitter is are you seeing it i don't know if you're seeing it it's very fine and once it dries Oh, that's a lie. It does come out in your hands. <laughs> you know, this is the first time I notice it, but um, it's it's really pretty. I, I highly recommend them for the price. I mean, gel pens aren't that expensive, um, but these sets like this, it comes with a case and it's a nice case. And then here are your refills. It's got an extra pocket. Okay. It's, I, I like it. And these are your refills and there's 60 of them and none of the colors repeat they might be similar but they don't repeat and check this out oh oh i'm here it goes <laughs> um now that i got this one out these also have where is it i gotta show you the company name come on see if I shut the flash off where's the flash <laughs> oh here it goes 
Okay. It don't wanna doesn't want to focus but it does have the company name on it and it has the name of the color and the number so that's pretty good you know for a cheaper set they usually don't have the um anything on on here maybe a number maybe the name or maybe the color but not all three sometimes they have nothing um but they're beautiful and you have I haven't tried this one yet, but this one's called Glitter Ivory. I haven't tried it yet, though. Let's, let's turn this back on. I like it to be nice and bright for y'all. I haven't tried that one yet. It's not white, white. It's ivory, and you got light grays. You have black. You have blues, purples, greens, yellows, oranges, all the rainbow colors, and then some. And some pretty, look at these pretty turquoises. Um, Yeah, I love it. I love it and I recommend them for someone who wants to color and likes to gel pen stuff. I am not big on gel pens, but I do like the glitter ones. I don't use them as much. Like um, next thing I'm going to show you, I don't recommend gel pens in them because one thing about gel pens that I find, the ink runs out fast. And that's what's so great that these have refills, but the ink does run out fast. I use two colors. In this next thing that I'm gonna show you and I was the ink is running out and I said no markers pencils others crayons whatever but not gel pens in this next book okay so I will link the, this down below in case you're interested so this is the um oh this coloring book is very cute that also comes with it now some of these images I recognize um like this here where is it this looks like one of those my little ponies but hey i don't know but it's a cute little book anyway so this is the next thing i got this is a coloring book color by number it's called quirkles this is the animal version and it's really cool okay so the gist of this is you pick five colors that range from dark to lightest and you assign them a number dark being number the darkest being number one then as you go lighter number two number three number four and number five you're lightest you pick any shades you want as long as they go from dark to light and so you this is this looks difficult right and if you're a type of person that likes repetition this is awesome for you so you take like let's say you're doing Number two, anywhere you see the two, you color it with that assigned color, okay? And you keep on going, and then when you're done, you have a picture. And this is an example of one of them. This is actually the one I'm working on now, which is the first one in the book. Now, my darkest is not my darkest. I thought I was using black, but it's not black. It's more like a gray, so the second color seems darker to me. But look, look, these are the gel pens. Look at that. Can you see that glitter effect? Isn't that pretty? But if you don't like repetition, you might get bored with this, but it's fun. And if you're one of those people that says, I can't color, yeah, you can. <laughs> If you know how to count, <laughs> then you can color. Now, if you don't know how to count, then I don't know what to see. That's a different story. Um, but this is the one I'm working on. And it entertained me for a little bit. But I'm not big on repeated stuff. And I was getting a little bit bored. Um, but I, I, I will continue it. <laughs> and... <laughs> You guys know how I do. No, I really want to see how this comes out. The next one, I will definitely start out with black being number one or maybe a dark brown, but I won't use gel pens. Gel pens, this just sucks it all up. There's a lot of sections with two like this, all a whole lot here. It's going to dry out my pen. It's going to finish the tank. So I will do it with marker, which will go quicker than colored pencil, but you can do it with colored pencil. You can do it with... um crayons 
whatever else you want to use fine tip liners maybe i don't know but i wouldn't recommend gel pens because your, your gel pens are going to be done so there's 20 pictures in all these are perforated so if you want to frame it and in the back you have the different images that you're going to get i like this one definitely and look at the cute doggy isn't he cute but if you use bright colors like i want to use bright colors i don't i'll start off with black or dark color like that with in my it has number one but then i'll go bright you know rainbowish or whatever make them look cute so that's it me gente sorry i keep getting kicked and out of practice i mean out of the camera view um well let me show you what i got me on <laughs> If you have a little girl that likes LOL, these you'll find in Walgreens. This is really cute. And this is like a magic marker, a, a really magic, okay? And it has different games, and you just go over the marker, and the color comes through. It's like that pink thing. Like she or she scribbled, and I'm going to talk to her about that because that's taking the lazy way out. I, I want her to do it section by section. And they have games that she just didn't do. <laughs> See. Oh man, she's almost finished. She finished this book already. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Okay, anyway. And I got her because she likes Disney. This has different activities, colored pages, puzzles, uh, search words, stuff like that. And she dot to dot. She loves all that shit. And then I got her these ultra clean washable crayons which she hasn't used it seems she's only been using the gel pens i don't know how washable these are but maybe i'll try them out so anyway me gente i kind of don't want this video to end because <laughs> i don't know what to do no i'll edit the video and i'll upload it and then y'all will see it. anyway me gente thank you all for the prayers and the well wishes and the messages um and emails i appreciate all of you um, love you guys and you guys take care until my next video. Okay, and besos Mwah.